Yo, what's good, guys? <sighs> Fucking freezing right now. It just rained last night. And uh, it's 23rd of January. It's about to be 5 a.m. The gym opens at 5. I'll be there right when they open. I'll be one of the first customers. I like doing that. I like, be one of the, I like being one of the first ones at the gym. Because then I can get to my spot. And, you know, it's nice. Going to the gym in the middle of the day, late at night, it's kind of hard. One... I don't have the mental stamina to be in the gym at 6 p.m. Two, I don't think I have the social experience to be around that many people at 6 p.m. I mean, I can, but don't expect me to talk. People think I'm a dick. I just prefer being in the morning. But basically, past week, or at least past four days, I've been feeling under the weather. Got a sore throat or a strep throat. I don't even know what the difference is. What is strep throat? It just naturally came to me because people say I have strep throat, but I have a sore throat. I don't know if it's the same shit. And uh, ever since then, it's kind of hard to put food down my system because it hurts, you know, to, you know, swallow. But I'm trying my best to still continue with the bulk. I'm trying. I think with this bulk, I don't want to be scared to gain weight, man, because with social media, they make it scary, you know? You don't want to be the one to gain fat and get fat and then people call you out. But you have to trust the process. You have to trust that what you're doing is working. One, because you've done it before. And two, because that's how you fucking build muscle, right? You have to gain weight. You can't just expect to constantly eat at a deficit and expect to gain weight. Or at least lean muscle. So I'm trying to put on some lean muscle. And so I'm going to put on some weight. And in order to do that, I will gain some fat. But I will try to minimize how much fat gain I put on by sticking with my cardio and sticking with a high protein diet and a moderate carb and low fat diet. I don't even know how I got into this conversation. But the gym's gonna open in eight minutes. And today's a chest day. Previous, uh, the first two months. Yeah, so we're two months into the bulk. And the first two months of the bulk, I prioritized, I guess, strength training. It didn't go so well. Um, now what I'm gonna do is now prioritize hypertrophy training. I'm trying to get fucking big. I would consider myself a bodybuilder, not a power lifter, but I guess I can combine both of them. And I'm trying to at least, I think squat, I'm gonna just switch over to Smith machine squat. I think I can maximize a lot of growth on that. Deadlift, I could still keep deadlift. Deadlifts are good overall for back thickness and overall just strength, I would say. And bench, I don't do flat, I stick to the incline because I think that's going to translate better to an overall better chest. <sighs> Again, I don't know how I got into that. Oh, yeah, so I'm training hypertrophy. So today's our chest day workout. We're going to go fucking hard. Yeah.
that chest workout? Fucking solid. <sighs> Let's see what's cooking under this fucking shirt. Chest looking solid, man. Two months into the bulk, I'm sitting at 195. Let's look at that ab definition right here. Not so much at the bottom, as you can tell, I'm holding up a little bit more water weight at the bottom. Definitely all around the waist, I'm holding on to more water weight, more fat. Everything else is looking solid though. Let's get a better angle with that chest. Just the lighting a bit. Yeah, that was a little too much. Side chest. Man, look at those titties. These are like double Ds. That's one thing I did want to improve over the last couple years was my upper chest. And I could see that shit coming in. I've transitioned and flat benches to only incline. I think I only do like one regular flat bench movement. Kind of did that today, or just a regular seated horizontal press. Uh, I only did one set of that, but I took it to failure. And dude, feeling good. Still gotta work on those lats though. I don't think I'm wide enough for my frame. Things I wanna improve. Our biceps, I feel like biceps are lacking. I wanna grow the thickness and width of my lats. I wanna look like I'm actually gonna take off every time I fucking spread my wings. Maybe I just gotta work on slimming down the waist, but catch you guys in the car. So we're back in the carro. That's car for anyone who doesn't know Spanish. I was quite impressed of what I saw from what I saw in there. I like the way my chest is forming at the top. It's now looking like a chest, like how it should. I do know a lot of us, when we first start working out, we're lacking a lot of that shelf at the top. And it kind of sucks because we all want to have that cubed chest that we see on anime and all these fucking superheroes, right? If you look at cartoons like uh, the Marvel superheroes or any anime that where the fucking characters are jacked, they have a squared chest and it makes them look nice and big. It's kind of what I saw when I was in there. It made me fucking feel really good. Kind of boosted up my confidence that my chest is working and my chest is growing. We expect to see results within a week or two of working out. You guys have to stay consistent, man. I've been working out consistently. I think it'll be four years now. Wait. Consistently, it'll be three years that I have been working out. But overall... I think I've been working out for five years now. And uh, the first few years of me working out, I think it was mostly just a ego thing. I was going in and trying to lift heavy. I remember I, I low-key squatted a lot more when I first started working out than I do now because I prioritize lifting heavy. But I wasn't seeing much results in my body. I wasn't... I mean, of course, I saw some muscle definition as newbie gains every time someone joins the gym for the first time you will get newbie gains pretty quick so i saw those but my strength was going up a lot better and so that's what i worked out more i was like oh let's deadlift oh let's bench oh let's squat but my bench never really progressed i think it's because i broke my high uh i broke my wrist in high school and ever since then it's mental for sure i always kind of stop myself short right when i feel a pinch of my my wrist or at least i used to i don't feel that pinch in my wrist anymore but that's what i used to do now for the past i want to say three years i focused more on maybe going in and working out one power movement whether it's like a bench some sort of squat or the deadlift and then the rest of my workouts are all hypertrophy focused i didn't used to do that now i do and i think i'm seeing the results i want to say last year when i started training to failure how people say i wouldn't say true failure because then i'd be fucking broken but i work out to failure i would say to my failure um obviously not everyone can break through that mental barrier 
we will fail before our actual bodies can fail, right? Our heads, our minds will be like, ooh, this kind of hurts. Let's stop. So we do. But I've tried to get out of that mental state. So I put music on that kind of screams over the thoughts in my head. So I'm forced to rep out that extra couple more reps. And as for the bulk, I said I weighed in at 195 this morning. So this is what I looked at 195 this morning. This is what I looked at last year, the exact same day, uh, January 23rd, but at 193. All right, so there's a difference. As you can tell, I got a better chest on this one. Not so much on this one. Chest days are working. But bro, I produce so much fucking heat. I fog up the entire car when I get in it. But solid chest workout. I hope you guys liked today's video and you guys stayed until the end. Go ahead and comment down anything. Say what's up. I'll say what's up back. And I would love to hear what kind of workout videos you guys want to see. Let me know. Or if there are any workout tips you guys want to hear about, comment it down below. Catch you guys next video.